makes it look easy. That little ranger just makes it look so easy. <laughs> the plan is today, you boys are going to shoot down the river in the tinny, all right, and we're going to go by land. And what we're going to do is we're going to link up at this fork here, that fork in the river. It will take the navigator as well, the HEMA navigator with us, so we know exactly where you are and where we are with radio contact, all right. We don't want to lose radio contact because when we once we because we're going to take a straight line across to get through and then we're going to lose sight of the river but we'll stay within radio contact so that's the rendezvous point here and then from there we put the bikes on top of the boats and then we're going to head across the river and then we'll meet you out the mouth okay let's go let's see what we can do Wadey and Stu head for the mouth to hopefully meet up with us 10 k's up towards the mouth. Simon and I have to go cross country using the navigator. Don't try something like this without communication, as well as a GPS and maps. Boys are having a fun time while we're slogging it through the bush. They get to fish. How does that work out? We finally get to the rendezvous point on the western bank. Hey, we're nearly at the creek, mate. Can you see Wadey? I'll get him on the radio. Wadey, can you see us, mate? It's hard to spot anyone in this bush. You got us yet? We're here, mate. We're here. In here. We're oi, oi. And what a mission that was. We've made the rendezvous point with, uh, with Wadey. Now the trick is to join these two tinnies together and get the ranger on top. The Polaris will be easy, the, the sportsman. But we need to get this ranger on top. I've got some frames made up and we're going to lock it all together and we've got to get across to the other side of the river now. See how we go. Yeah, so the Rosie Creek Ferry Service was having its first run. Drive it. <sighs> now I need some straps. I reckon just. Don't, don't strap it in. If the boat was going to go, you want to lose the bike and not the boats, because if we don't have boats to get back, we're yeah. stuck here for a long time. Right. So just... Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Just lock it in gear. You're going to go over ever so slowly. Yeah. Here you go, boys. Yeah, Keep that. Good You're good. right, mate. You just good don't good. want it any... Yeah. I reckon, Simon, you get up the front, mate. I bet the local crocs haven't seen this before. Yeah, they just unloaded it and actually just got the bike off, unreal. So we've only got one more to go, the Ranger. So that's gonna be a little bit harder to get across, but we'll get there. How's it feel? Straight up, no way. Yep, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. 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 Keep going.
The Rosie Creek Ferry Service worked well. Told you to work, mate. I know boats. Yeah, I'm well, mate. You're done extremely well. With the bikes, trailers and boats, we can travel the coastline like never before. But as soon as we get there, the Ranger has a flat. We seem to have got ourselves a puncture. We've got this far, and when we unloaded them off the boat, this one's got a flat tyre, so it went down fairly slow, so it's only a little hole. And I think it's picked up one of those sharp mangrove roots when we were loading up. Now on the eastern bank, we head for the mouth to meet up with the boats again, we hope. Without the HEMA, you'd be flat out doing this. Made it. Mouth of the Rosie Creek. So what are we, the first people ever to drive on this beach? I could probably could almost guarantee that we're the first people ever to drive to this river mouth. I'm loving it. We just got to hook up with Wadey now. We're not sure where Wadey is. We've lost him. We've lost him. Wadey, Wadey, are you on channel? The sun's slowly poking its way up over the Arafura Sea. Today, Simon and I are going to travel 20 k's east to another remote river system using the Polaris Ranger and Elmac trailer to take the dinghy down the beach. Wade and Stu are going to fish this system today while we head east, hopefully staying in radio contact. The folding trailers and quad bikes have opened up new territory for us as we cross creeks and rivers to continue along the coastline. The four wheel drives are still 20 k's inland, unable to get out this far. It's amazing the things you find on the beach, washed up from the gulf. This deck chair off a cruise ship or something like that. There's a, a port marker down there further, an actual floating port marker. There's a massive big Carly float. It's amazing, you always, I love combing the beach. See what I can find on the beaches. There's obviously plenty of coral and, and stuff like that. There's also, behind me here is, is a massive freshwater spring on the backside of the dune. Pure fresh water just seeping out of the sand. This place is amazing. Now we've had such a big wet season and all that water just comes down and settles in this, in this, uh, this divot behind the back of the dunes. And it's actually quite, quite sweet water. Filters up through the sand. It's got a few little fish and stuff running around in it. I'd never expect to see fresh water like this on the backside of a beach in the Gulf. It's not on any maps. Doesn't show up on any of my maps. 